bright and early, 8 a.m. Wanted to thank everyone for showing so much love on the intro vlog. This is our first real vlog. I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna be discussing how I feed four babies, or actually they feed themselves, and um, it's really a joy to watch them grow, and I hope you like it. Come on inside. You guys hear the sound machine? I. I love the sound machine. It's really helped my babies. They sleep 12 hours a night. I joke you not, from six months old, they've been sleeping 12 hours a night and the sound machine is one of the things that's really helped. So come on, let's go wake them up. First, we're gonna see Miss Melody and Miss Kylie. It's the girls' room. Good morning. She is a year old. Year old with a little hair. Situation going on. <laughs> happy, happy baby. Good morning. This is our morning routine touching the face. wake up happy, they go to sleep happy, and I'll talk about how we have the baby sleep 12 hours every night. Every morning, evening, the kids go up and down the stairs by themselves. They're quite independent, which I absolutely love. Um, and I'm so excited to show you guys more. The girls are downstairs, and I actually can hear the boys. Let's go see what they're doing. Good morning. Um, these are sippy cups. We go through a lot of milk. I think we need a cow. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready? Maya? The kids eat what they like. We never force food on them, um, mainly because they're such good eaters, actually, and that's what I'm really excited to show you. All four kids, our youngest set of twins, are one year old, and the oldest just turned three. They eat by themselves. The method I've been following, which is called baby led weaning, and um, I will show you as we get to the breakfast room. Tangerines, apples, blueberries, strawberries, they love fruit. Um, also, I'm gonna get them French toast. So while I'm preparing their morning breakfast, they're just in the playroom, um, hanging out in the meantime. Diapers are all changed for the little ones. Our older ones are actually potty trained, which is amazing. They were potty trained at the age of two. Our kids have so much fun together. It's a joy to watch. <laughs> Breakfast is all ready, but the first part of baby led weaning that is really important are the weaning tables. They're Montessori weaning tables here, which I have set up for the kids. Also, something that I've done on my own is I have found a painter's tape, which I put on the floor. It's like a plastic, and I cover the floor while they eat because at the end of dinner, once they're done with breakfast or dinner, all I have to do is take up the tape and floors are clean and breakfast or dinner is over. So it's so worth it. Baby led weaning is super messy, but at the end of the day, the kids learn a lot. They learn confidence on how to eat all by themselves. They have so much independence and they become such great eaters. At least mine are. All four of my babies eat so well. <laughs> Let's 
Let's call the kids. All right, guys, you ready? Melody, breakfast is ready. about the Montessori tables, the weaning tables. I like this so much better than the high chairs. I first started off with high chairs and honestly, they just struggled with me. Melody and mine would just throw food on the floor. They hated being strapped in and their feet barely touched the floor. So for about a month and a half when I started baby led weaning with them, they were about um, eight months old, seven, eight months old. It was just a disaster in the very beginning with high chairs, but then after I learned and I read up a bit, I got these Montessori weaning tables and it has changed breakfast forever, even dinner time. They sit so well, their feet touch the floor, the fact that they're not strapped in, I believe they're so much more comfortable and they sit really calmly and nicely and they finish the meal in their seats, they don't get up or run around. If you're starting off young, um, at around eight or nine months old with the weaning table, you just wanna first make sure that they can hold their head up and also be able to sit independently. When they're able to hold their head up and sit independently, then you're good. You can start baby led weaning. Um, you can even start it as early as six months old. Uh, but the best part is I think these tables have really made um, breakfast so much more fun for the kids. They love eating. Um, another aspect of the table is if you have siblings, they get to eat together. It's like their own area for breakfast or dinner. And also it helps transition them to the adult table. It'll be much easier for them to transition. So I'll put the link of the tables in the description so that way you guys can see. I did three different stages of chairs when they were little, as these little guys, and as they get older, um, as our now three-year-olds. kids have been eating off of glass plates and I'm gonna give them these glass cups and it's just a, amazing to see even the one-year-olds the way that they drink. aspects of baby led weaning is that they decide what goes in their mouth, how much they want to eat, um, and I believe that just gives them confidence and independence. That's really the Montessori method which I've been following and it makes a huge difference. Now these kids, I started off when they're eight months old, baby led weaning, and they eat by themselves. I don't feed them, they don't want me to feed them. I do have to say it is messy, but it's so worth it. As they grow up, they are in full control of their body, full control of what they eat, and they eat so much better. I never have to force them to eat ever because they honestly have to ask me for food. As you introduce foods, it's so important to introduce all different flavors, all different textures. The kids are trying to understand how everything feels, how everything tastes, and Sometimes you'll see like they're gagging, like it seems like a gag reflex, but they're not choking. All they're doing is they're moving the food around their mouth and they're just understanding how to swallow and eat. So as you're feeding the kids, just be patient. For example, a carrot. If you're giving them a carrot and they don't like it, you're giving them a puree if it's for the younger babies. If you're giving them a puree, they don't like it that day, it's okay. Try it again in a week. Um, they actually start developing the taste over time and something they may not like today, they'll like in a week. Same thing for the older kids. You know, they're moody sometimes. Just because they don't eat a certain type of food today, they might want it the week after. So it's not the end of the world, just... Yes, baby, I see that. 
are scared of having multiples but for me I mean it was a surprise but it's been the best surprise of my life so in the end one thing I'd like to say is as the kids are eating, don't rush them. Don't force any food because it's not gonna help um, them eat anymore. And also, if they spill, if they're practicing with cups, if they spill the cup, they spill the milk, don't get upset. You know, just be patient with them, redirect them to drinking the cup again. And you know, patience is everything. If you're patient with them, they will have, they'll feel good about what they're eating. They'll feel good about the whole process. They're nervous, but you've got to be focused, calm. Don't get frustrated at all. And I can tell you by the end of this process, it just takes a couple months. Um, within a year, our kids are so independent when we go to restaurants. I can take all four babies by myself and they will eat extremely well. As you guys see, this was our morning routine. So guys, I have so much more to share with you. Please comment, let me know what you'd like to know. Um, mom of four kids, and I'm a working mom too, so it's uh, just been a joy. I've learned a lot, and it's my joy to share it with the world. And please let me know how you liked it. Have a good day.